Yeah, bring it loud and proud. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Here comes a Reggie tip. Right, are you ready? So we're looking. That's the other end of the tube. We're looking for this movement, aren't we? Hmm. So first of all, we've got to be starting to think about it and how we're going to do it and how we're going to turn that into a lever that's going to do this. But at the same time, having enough of a throw because... If you don't move it in or out enough, it might not do it. So you've got to bear that in mind. It's not going to move a little bit, is it? It's going to move a, quite a bit. Mm. So the point of me making this video is you're looking at these and you're looking at steel plates, are you? That you would cut and shape and whatever. I don't see these as a steel plate. I see these as a ready-made hole. So I always pick up stuff especially thick metal if i see a piece of thick metal especially if it's got an hole in it because cutting that with a grindette's fine enough it might cost you a blade and grinding it and shaping it to whatever you want but actually getting to drill that hole from home you're talking serious money and serious equipment yeah look at the thickness of that damn thing and the holes as soon as i saw it i saw I didn't see a steel plate. I saw four holes that I can use at some time in the future. Same as this one, look. That isn't a good, thick, strong plate. That is two holes to use at some time in the future. Whether you cut it and a bit thinner bar here. But uh, the aggravation of d drilling holes in thick metal, unless you've got, you know, quite expensive gear, You've got yourself a problem so can you see the theme the theme is anything with a hole in that's where you want to collect and put in your stores because you just never know because if you wanted to drill that that would give you such a uh, that size do you know what i mean the size of your thumb and through metal like that you're talking serious money serious drills serious equipment Hmm, so I'm sitting here now thinking, hmm, how am I going to make this work? What am I going to do? Obviously, I'll have my nuts and bolts. I'm thinking that's a nice looking handle. So, hmm, hmm. So anyway, my little munchkins, that's a, a Reggie tip of the day. When you see something, if it's got an hole in it, that's going to be very useful. That's going to save you a lot of time, a lot of aggravation, a lot of money. Because you can cut around it and do whatever you want. It's the holes you're looking for. It's the holes. Hmm. Well, I hope that's a useful tip to you.